right there on a shot. And just missing on the far post right there is LMU. Okay, great opportunity on a through ball. It looks like Bush got a piece of that one. And just shot it wide there. Yeah, something that we haven't talked about yet, but it's how great Bush played on Sunday, or excuse me, Friday. side of the field for LMU. So that shot was by Sarah Sanger and the ball comes in. Mark, you have something like that happens again. You probably won't be able to make that save. You know, attempt to get it clear. LMU with the free kick actually passes it out towards the far side. And a header in and a score right there for LMU. A header on the far post. And really a great shot right there. It looked like Morgan Hill be coming in not even needing to jump right there. And comes over and that is a well-deserved goal. From LMU. Yeah, she, you know, the Gales had some defenders there in the box, but weren't quite ready. I think they were prepared for the initial cross or the initial hit off the free kick, and we played it wide. Had a good cross on zero, but there's still 45 minutes to play, and you know, a lot of time to get things going for the Gales. It's a very good point right there, Ashley. As we are going to be taking a break for halftime, we have about. 12 minutes and we'll be back with you guys with the schedule for St. Mary's Soccer as well as some of the stats from the first half. So stay here and stay tuned on the W.TV and SMCGales.com. My name is Darren Fox and a kick as she gets hit down after the kick and Shimka is working on the, the near side here trying to get a cross in. Keeps it in and working closer to the goalie and a pass in and a shot and they score and no offsides on this one and the Gales tie up the game here. A beautiful goal. Diaz starting that play, working it out to Shimkiss. And, you know, I'm going to be honest, did not see who necessarily scored that ball. Why talk about A. Bolin? Unsuccessful there. Here comes Sarah Sanger. Sanger working on the far side and across in the middle. A 21 with a shot and a goal for LMU. Shannon Kent with the second goal of the game for LMU. Really just a you know, maybe a, a bad execution by the defense there from St. Mary's has only looked like one defender in the box for St. Mary's. Yeah, it looked like Whipple had gotten caught up um, on offense and didn't quite, wasn't able to quite get back to some of the quick attack by LMU. And um, LMU was able to get past the defender and get off the cross. And uh, fortunately for the Gales, there was someone wide open. So LMU able to score this, the third goal of this game, the second for themselves, 2-1 to one the score now. And the goal, it looked actually like, uh, you know, a good goal, an easy goal, really. Not much Stephanie Bush can do. And once again, that was a goal from Shane Kent, another opportunity right there, but able to knock it out is Embry. And that came from Sarah Sanger. So it's a ball now up to Shimkus. Shimkus working on the left side, a through ball towards Dion. Dion with a kick on it, and it gets past her, and it's in! Samantha Dion with the equalizer from Shimkus on a through ball, and that scores, excuse me, that ties the game once again. An amazing, an amazing goal right there. <laughs> You're in the 86th minute, a tie game once again. Especially the second one, I think the St. Mary's bench definitely thought that Dion side um, but you know nothing you can do about it the assistant referee made the call and you have to move on and the gales did and they responded well and Sarah Sanger once again on the near side here is giving chase towards that ball this is played back to Stephanie Bush and we talked about Sanger you know a big key piece early in the game as well as on the second goal a lot of opportunity started from this side of the field yeah she's definitely put a lot of pressure on the same area back line, especially on St. Mary's left side. Uh, opportunity here, actually. It's Kent moves into Sanger, and it is a foul called, and that'll be a penalty kick. Uh, really an unfortunate foul. Sanger trying to get position, and this is, does not look good for St. Mary's as we're in the third minute here. And a penalty kick looks for Sarah Sanger, but it looks like Shannon Kent will be taking the shots. Uh, what, what did you see there that led up to that, that penalty kick? Well, that's, that's more of Sanger's speed. She took a touch, and as the referee saw it, a St. Mary's defender knocked her down, and Vicki Shimkus 
captain over there trying to talk to the referee, but I don't, I don't think she's going to change her mind at this point. So Stephanie Bush in a really tough position here. Oh,